Here are just some of the stories that you'll find today on Crestview Community Television. Okaloosa County Tax Collector Chris Hughes is on a countywide full disclosure tour of his office's budget. Hughes brought his budget tour to Crestview Thursday morning. His entire 34-minute presentation, in addition to questions brought to him from those in attendance, this week on the CBC TV local news channel. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission held a public hearing Wednesday evening at the Crestview Community Center to offer Northwest Florida hunters an opportunity to learn more about the Commission's proposed changes to Florida's deer hunting regulations. Hear what the state's top white deal program director had to say about the regulation changes plus comments from those in attendance today on the CVC TV local news channel. Fort Walton Beach Attorney Don Ankers was the keynote speaker at the recent Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office annual law enforcement appreciation luncheon. Ankers' poignant address to the nearly 150 law enforcement representatives from across the state can be viewed in its entirety plus Words from the brother of one of Okaloosa County's heroes killed in the line of duty this past year. All this on the CVC TV local news channel. An Okaloosa County Sheriff deputy was transported by Gulf Light Air Ambulance to Sacred Heart Hospital's trauma center in critical condition Following a horrific traffic crash, we'll find out who that deputy was and where the wreck took place. Nearly 20 minutes of dramatic video from the crash scene as the deputy had to be cut out of his patrol car. Today on the CVC TV local news channel. The Crestview Police Department will soon be moving into the recently renovated building at the corner of Industrial Drive and Stillwell Boulevard. The building, purchased last year by the city, years ago served as a warehouse and, more recently, the location for the sanctuary and classrooms for City Church. The Crestview City Council voted 4 to 1 Monday night to name the building after the Honorable George H. Whitehurst and the spacious auditorium inside the building Warrior Hall, in honor of the men and women, both military and law enforcement, that have paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Councilwoman Linda Parker vehemently opposed the name change and was the lone dissenting vote. You can watch the entire discussion of the building's naming, in addition to all of the City Council meeting by agenda item, and the workshop that preceded the council meeting this week on the CVC TV community channel. Pleasure to introduce our uh, guest. Florida Governor today. Charlie Crist today announced the appointment of Ed Spooner as I interim sheriff of Okaloosa today, County. Spooner had been serving as acting I'm interim sheriff following the indictment and suspension of Charlie Morris last February. Spooner, 58, of Quincy, was previously the training academy director for the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Prior to that, he served for six years as the chief deputy of the Gadsden County Sheriff's Office. The remainder of the term and uh, allow us to finish what we've started. Uh, this is a good group of folks, a great community. Sheriff's Office employees are 100%. This will allow us to go forward and hopefully do some, some better things and finish some projects we've started out. I'm, I'm pleased and honored he put me there. I, I think we set the tone for where we were headed from the beginning, and that is integrity is one of our utmost concerns. And, and we've got a lot of folks of great integrity in the sheriff's office. We've addressed some of the concerns we had. We've made some changes in uh, personnel and, and addressed some of those. We will be uh, working on some additional issues. We now have the budget coming up. We're still trying to recover from uh, the loss of two very fine deputies, Bert Lopez and Skip York. But I think you'll see us continue to move forward with the programs that we'd already initiated and started. Now, we'll, we'll look at all of our assignments and where we are. We are. We're still evaluating that situation and trying to analyze and determine what exactly took place, how we might improve, adjust, or make changes, if any. But uh, I think you'll see us over the next four, five, six weeks 
uh, come to some conclusions and decide where we need to go. Well, I do, uh, we, we've reassigned and moved some folks, but generally what we're trying to do is address some budget issues. We've actually put on a hiring freeze, and any moves we make now are internal staff. Uh, we'll be talking to the members about that a little bit later on and trying to address some of the fiscal concerns that come with some of this. They're a great department. I'll tell you what, they've done everything I've asked them to do. They've been where they need to be doing, what they should be doing. Tremendous group. They've made this a whole lot easier than it could have been. I couldn't ask for any more out of them. Great group. Crestview Police Chief Ryan Mitchell served as the police chief in Havana, Florida, located in Gadsden County, and he came to New Spooner Well. Well, our history goes back when I was employed with the city of Havana over in uh, Gadsden County, and we worked hand-in-hand -hand there, and uh, he was professional there, and, and I expect him to bring that same work ethic here in Okaloosa County, and uh, I mean, we're going to be more than glad to help him um, assimilate into our community here and work hand-in-hand -hand with the sheriff's office, as we always have done, and we're just proud to have him and um, support him in any way we possibly can. The official announcement of Spooner's appointment came during the annual Law Enforcement Appreciation Luncheon held Friday at the Niceville Community Center. A Laurel Hill woman died Thursday from injuries that she sustained in a traffic crash early Tuesday morning. Young Vandrasek was pronounced dead at Sacred Heart Hospital at 1.15 Thursday afternoon. According to a Florida Highway Patrol media release, Young was traveling east on Bill Lundy Road around 4.30 Tuesday morning. When she reached the intersection of Bill Lundy and State Road 85, Young failed to stop. She entered State Road 85 directly into the path of this southbound UPS tractor trailer driven by Philip Altizer of Navarre. Altizer was unable to avoid colliding with Young's 2006 Hyundai SUV. The collision caused Young's vehicle to spin several times before colliding with a utility pole and then coming to rest in the drainage ditch along the southeast corner of State Road 85 and the Bill Lundy Road intersection. Young was transported by Okaloosa County EMS from the scene to the North Okaloosa Medical Center and later transferred to Sacred Heart Hospital's trauma center where she died. It was a bittersweet goodbye for many Lance Richburg Middle School faculty members and past students Thursday at an open house to celebrate the school's historic legacy before moving into their new facility in the fall. Interviews with many of the teachers and past uh, students that came uh, to Coach say goodbye Redman. this weekend on the CVC TV Community Channel. Also on the Community Channel, members of the First Baptist Church of Crestview and the community presented the Honorable Judge and General Pat Maney a very special commemorative flag during this year's patriotic ceremony at Crestview Baptist Church that was held this past Wednesday night. That entire patriotic ceremony can be watched this weekend on the CVC TV community channel. The Crestview Area Chamber of Commerce is organizing a committee to assist the U.S. government in gathering information for the 2010 nationwide census. That story today on the CVC TV local news channel. More than 400 law enforcement and emergency vehicles escorted Okaloosa Deputy Burton Lopez from Crestview to his final resting place in Niceville last Thursday. Video of that procession airing now on the local news.